been a really good experience. Um, get to see some new people that you see around town in a different environment um, and speak to some really great leaders that we've had today. Um, I think it was really interesting to see a lot of um, powerful women earlier speaking and then today in a workshop with lots of other young people from schools in Albany and Mount Barker. It was just really interesting to hear how young people are really excited for growth. I'd like to try and promote leadership within Albany and like the Great Southern Region because I'm from Mount Barker. So we, from Mount Barker, we usually have to travel a lot to Albany and other like regional areas and rural areas to try and really get what we want to do. Like I come down here for lots of sports because we don't have a lot of options down in Mount Barker and um, just try and get young girls to join in and really make something out of it. A place where young girls can feel confident in leading other girls or people in general. I do have lots of hope for Albany that we will get a bit bigger and more young people will want to stay here, want to come here. And we already do like living here already, but we won't always be going off to Perth. Hopefully we have more education access. I know we have UWA, but like that just, it just doesn't cover everything yet. But I know we're trying, which is really good, and I hope that it gets really better. Well, I think that it kind of looks like it's Albany and the Great Southern is just going to get bigger, which is good and also a little bit concerning considering the environment and the climate changing and things like that. But it also does have a lot of good things, like a lot more opportunities for young people with jobs and more kind of just activities to do and things. I just think young people need to stand up for what they think they want to do, like um, if they want to start a music festival or they want to make a club or something, they, they need to stand up for what they believe in and don't back down if they tell them no. If you want things to happen, we just need the motivation, we need to want to be included in things, we just, I don't know, we can't just sit around being lazy teenagers, <laughs> we've got to actually step up and, you know, try and get our voice out there. Things that you want to do, you, you have to do it kind of thing. And it's like really inspired me to look inside myself and see what I can actually do. Asking people and say, asking them to help me with what I can do. I think we need to get together and build more together instead of lot, like trying to do lots and lots of different other things and then not going that far. I see a lot of Indigenous girls, me being an Indigenous girl, being like shame to take a role that can actually be really great opportunity for them in the long run. But yeah, it's just a matter of breaking the barrier and being able to do it, you know? I think that for young people, it's really hard sometimes to get committed, but it's really, really important. If you want to do something, you have to do it and you have to drive yourself, have that motivation. I think just putting yourself out there is a big one. Um, in case someone says no, you don't want to, like, it's kind of, you don't want to put yourself out there and then try really hard if it's not going to work. But then if you don't put yourself out there, nothing's going to happen. So you've got to try and do things for what you want to do. A lot of people, want to do, be able to do this but then they'll be like oh that's not a kid's thing to do adults have to do that and I don't think um, adults think that teenagers are able to do these things and that's probably definitely one of the biggest obstacles I think um, another one would probably be um, money like not having enough money to build or these things to do for young people to be heard, really, with us, we just want people to listen to us, we want to be included in those sorts of things, important decisions, because we, we have a mind, we have a brain, we've been to school for 12 or 13 odd years, <laughs> we're not completely just useless and we don't just muck around all the time, like, we want things to happen, we know what we want, we want our future to be bright and hopeful, we just, yeah. We want you guys to actually listen to us. Like, our, we do have a voice and our own opinions. Like things like this, showing that women can be in leadership roles and be empowered, and showing that other ladies can be empowered by what they do, kind of thing.